What's up guys, we're back here, and we're jumping back into some Slay the Spire modded. So, this time, Disciple time. Alright, done a little practice off camera with this character. Um, we're just going to talk, we're not going to do anything random. Upgrade a card, get a random event, 12, additional start right. Okay, let's go through some about this. The Disciple starts with the Chronometer. Uh, cards in the hand cost one less energy if they are retained. So, pretty good right there. Their deck is four strikes, four defend, second hand, retain one card, gain five block, and then pattern shift. Um, you can shift uh, the enemy to their next turn. So pretty good to get out of certain, certain situations. So I'm thinking I would do an additional starter relic. However, the starter relics are so specific to each class, I don't think it'll be good. So we'll do a random event, see what we get here. Okay, well, we could take the Curse of Regret to start with um, and get this, obtain a relic. So, <laughs> max HP. Not very good. All right, we want to shop to remove this thing pretty quick if we can. Um, the only shop's way, there's one way up here, one right up here, one up here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go through this side path, hit this elite, hit, go here, maybe hit this elite and go to the shop is what I'm thinking. If not, we will go up this way and go to this shop. So I think we'll do two elites either way. But I like the three question marks. All right, so the regret's gonna be really annoying to start with. We wanna play both these, take less damage. So I find this character very interesting with what they do. I don't wanna do this. Oh, it's both ways. Um, we return, lose four HP, reduce Venom by one, avoiding Dies heal all damage dealt by Venom. Interesting. All right, we're going to do this. This will retain. Uh, shifting it would not really do me anything. So, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage by Venom, but then we will heal it back up, which I think is interesting. I want you to die. Second hand. We're gonna retain this. So I want to play Pattern Shift. Do that, and then we'll retain this card. So yeah, this character is interesting. There's a lot of retain. Uh, they have a couple other special things that I'll show you where they can get like things up in the orb slot kind of area. That does nothing. We'll block here. No potions. So one more turn and we should get it back though. Yep. Dead. Dead. And then heal 13. Okay, not too bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, they have these replicas, which is probably my favorite so far. Um, like thing to do with them. Uh, replicas go up in your orb slots. Um, so this one just three damage to all enemies at the start of your turn, like the Merc Mercury Mercury Hourglass would. Good lord, how do I talk? Um, and then it lasts for five turns. Same thing with this one. Every time it gives you three thorns, shatters in six turns. Uh, there's certain ones that when you break them, they deal damage, um, stuff like that. Mm, I haven't tried tempo, so maybe we'll start with this until we get some more synergies. These things are good. However, you want something to, like, improve their effects. Like, 3 damage every turn for 5 turns. It's 1 for 15 damage over 5 turns. Not that good. But there's other things that stack up with it. And it can get kind of kooky. Alright, turn to your Emperor. Based on the enemy's attempt. So, we'll get Allegra, which does 2 for 18. Okay. I think we will do that. And then what we'll do, second hand defend. Then we'll keep this one. Now it'll be one damage next turn. I mean, one energy. Yeah. Then we will strike, allegro, strike. So you can see some of the synergy with this chronometer is actually a very, very good item. All right. Can we pattern shift them? We can. We'll take four less. We'll do that. And then we'll defend for one. I should use second hand technically, but we should just try to kill him this turn. Yeah. Flex Potion. All right. Uh, Fibonacci. I don't know how this one exactly works, so I'm not going to grab it right now. Um, I think I will get... Well, Medical Kit, while it's good, it is two cost, and it's only, like, works with statuses. I could try this. Will increase depending on the size of your hand. Uh, sequence. You know what? I'm going to try it. I've never picked up this card because I never understood it. But what's the hurt? Uh, yeah, pattern shift and defend. 
Eh, not bad. The innateness of pattern shift's pretty good. Um, we'll lose the five max HP. However, like, it's only situational on some enemies. It's really good. Some it doesn't really matter. Ugh. All right, we got tag bags, which is a good one. But now we're going into this elite fight uh, with ten health. We might be scrawled right here. Cause yeah, even w with this, so we can shift them to this. So next turn, I'm going to take a slew of damage. So what we're going to do is this. Um, now we want to keep this for next turn. Now they're all on the same like wavelength, I think. Yeah. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, this one doesn't turn back. Interesting. So this one's eight damage. Because we're at eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're at six cards. I don't get you. Um, Fibonacci. Yep, no, don't get it. Uh, up, defend, defend, strike. Uh, we will still be alive, just not very much. Oh, we won't be alive. Apparently I counted wrong. We were doomed from the start there. Let's get back into it. This character is surprisingly harder than I would expect based on, like, the usefulness of our cards and, like, what they do. We'll talk. Uh, we'll do this one. It's kind of my go-to. Um, one, two. We can maybe get that elite. If there's none of these are... Or we can do one. This one's even higher chance, so we'll go that way. Depending, it just depends on how the question marks line up. Also, let us tailor our deck. Ooh, I've not seen this one. So, tempo, we got this one again. Um, dilemma, if this kills uh, a card based on the enemy's intent. That's weird. Um, 14 damage, and then self me. That's pretty good, too, because this one will just end up being free. We'll take that. Pretty much two turns, and it's free. Mercury. Ooh. Crypto server is really good. I think that's the upgraded relic for this, which is really nice. Um, mm -hmm. Well, d I've done this one. I think I wanted to get into. Wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Unlocked a relic. Oh, this makes your replicas last longer. I was wrong. I thought I did something different. Oh, well. That's still pretty good, though. Two random card upgrades, perfect. Oh, uh, do we want regret again? Yeah, bronze scales, okay. Pretty good, who's the boss? It'll matter more. Uh, slime it matters less for, but that's fine. All right, so we still will get our elite. And yeah, there's that thing, milkshake. Okay, okay, we, we will get the rock replica. Uh, I don't really like that one as much. I think we'll go for the bronze scales and continue keeping our replicas up. Alright, so six damage right there. Shuriken, every three attacks play, we gain one strength. We're not really synergizing with that, but we'll see what we can do. From your draw pile, self retaining. Was retained. Uh, double the damage. So we don't have enough retained to do that. And they draw two cards, switches in the fallback. I actually really like this one. It upgrades to one that's really good too. So we'll take that right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this in here. Spring forward so we can draw two cards. I don't think we need that necessarily yet. Yeah. All right. Yep, deals damage to itself. Wind up's 14. It's almost enough to kill him. But it shouldn't matter. We will... You're gonna die just attacking into me, but I want to block, so. This, this. I think we can, oh yeah, you can't retain that one apparently. I was gonna retain the regret so we didn't take the damage, but. Apparently it does not work that way. 14 damage, you're dead. Okay, lock blood's a good one. Lock plans, well laid, oh this one's just well laid plans. Actually, that's retain every turn. That's actually really good. I hadn't seen that one yet. And can we upgrade it? Uh, two. Well, they plants plus, so it's four turns where originally... Oh, no, it's up, do two cards. Yes. So we can start grabbing some higher cost cards and then retaining them. 
bottle of egg. All color card upgraded. So what card will we pick up? I'd pick up another one of these, but it's a uh, uncommon. Maybe scales, I guess. Sure. And then it upgrades it. And then we'll take the void chart. It's an odd one, not exactly what I would normally like. It's a weird one to pick up. Runic Ice Hadron. Might as well take. Oh, uh, this is the right click for combat. Okay, I know what this one is. So you right click it, it gives you an effect. All right, we'll do this one combat. Next shop, we will take out regret. All right, so draw two cards. I don't really, well, I'd like to get into pattern shift actually. So we'll see if we can get that. We did not, so we will second hand and defend. And then we will obtain a strike. So hopefully he doesn't attack next turn. That one, strike you for zero. Um, scales, and then we will hold two. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. Now the problem with these um, replicas that I find uh, four damage, does it take it under half? No, it doesn't. But we can do this, and it will. Yeah, now it's under. Keep our, well, we can keep our defend and keep this defend. Yeah, we'll hold these two. The problem with these ends up being, uh, like I was saying, is that they don't really exhaust their powers. So once they're out, they're just done. So you kind of need to kill before that happens, or you pretty much lose the the entire effect that they have. And so, we're retaining four. Now if we can get something that does something every time we retain, this could be even better. I just wanna punch this one to death. We'll do, do that for 10. Keep this one. Might as well. So you're almost dead with one strike. Yep. Now our hand is filling up pretty quickly. So we need to keep that in mind. 15, dead. All right. Uh, Echo 4, also hit a card, play this turn, also play a ward. This one seems interesting, but we, this one, it takes um, some of the relics that you have and replicates them. So we have broad scale, so this one would make of X relics. So it'd pay one to get another broad scales. That's not bad, but... Uh, Apply two additional debuffs for each existing debuffs. We are doing debuffs. I don't think any of these are that good for us. Oh, we forgot to use, we need to remember to use our dice too. All right, first, regret, the Gonzo. So you can get locked blood pretty good. Um, slow to all enemies, tempo. Uh, zero cost blocks. Hand and shuffle two into your draw pile. Nothing here very much like this is good, but we still don't really have, like, something crazy to use with it. Oh, that would have been good. Satchel, retain another card. I guess we'll go for maybe Flash of Steel. It's just a good card in general. And then we'll continue along here. Yeah, so we can do Lock Plans, Flash of Steel. Uh, we'll spring forward. All right, now we got a bunch of crap in our hands. Keep the two strikes. And then the wind up. I'm gonna try to knock him out first. All right, 19, you're dead. Uh, can I pattern shift you into? Yep, into not attacking this turn. And second hand, in turn, all three blocks. Yeah, we need something to do with this retain. Like the only effect we're getting currently is the fact that we are, uh, you know, retaining cards and reducing their cost. But we need, you know, something else to uh, improve it. Because we don't have enough, car like, high-cost cards to make it worth our while yet. Power Potion. Uh, slowed enemies with additional three slow each turn. Interesting. Uh, crunch time is what we want, though. Uh, this is what I was talking about. So Shatter, which means removes the newest replica. Five damage for each one on the counter. That's kind of what we wanted. Uh, I think I'm going to avoid this leap just because of our health. Um, and we will go right here. Alright, do that. Um, I think we'll just second hand defend so we block all this. We'll save this one. 
so yeah. Because the uh, bronze scales will do good for us. Uh, so you'll kill yourself. Just based on what's going on. This. Almost kill you. And then I could crunch time. But it wouldn't actually. No, we just want to block. Oh, and a free strike here. Awesome. And then we gain one strength. So I'd like to use that. The shuriken a little bit more. Than we're currently using it. You're just dead. And you're also dead. Not too bad. Another crunch time could be good. Yeah, I think we will. Because to make... That's one of the problems with the replica deck. Is you need a lot of damage really quickly. Um, transform a card. Explore. Let's explore. Random event. Uh, we we'll, could remove a card. Remove maybe a basic strike. Pretty good. Alright. Flash of Steel. I want to get... A bunch. I'd rather this had been the other, the spring forward. Strike, second hand. I think I'll defend. I think I'll keep this for now. Hopefully next turn will be a little bit more eventful. It wasn't really, but we can pattern shift him through his big attack. Is what is what we'll end up doing. Because if not, yeah, we'll never we'll never get thirty five. But we can make him skip it. All right, I kind of like keeping planned, but I think the damage we're gonna get here is gonna be good. Yeah. I'll block. See. All right. So that was the our big hit. Now we're kind of just like relying on, like wind up and such. Um, I don't think I need the next damage. I think I'll keep fall back as my cards retain. All right. Wind up's twenty. All right. Flash of Steel. I think now we'll fall back. Mostly to get all this crap out of our hands. Wind up. Second hand. And we'll play out this one. So we have this for next turn, just in case. Oh, we did split them. I didn't think we were going to. Ugh, 16 damage both ways. Get one of you not. Do that here, this, and get rid of that. So we have the explosive and the power potion. I don't think we'll need them. All right, now crunch time. Here's the problem with them. Now they're actually like useless cards. They do nothing. So this is why having like a way to get replicas back in the deck would be good. Yeah, because all we're doing is exhausting slimes. So yeah, this is when our fight will get much, much harder. And we're not blocking for much. Um, 16, it won't kill us, but... Oh, wait, yeah, they will. Astrolabe... Okay, I will shatter and be removed into your hand. Uh, choose five card drawing. Hmm. These have been good at the beginning, but they aren't now. Oh, wait, we can also do this. We'll do this in a second. I think we'll go locked astrolabe, which is a weird one. Um, right click. 11. 100 gold. Oh, boy. All right, I broke him, so we're still alive. Is this when the Shatters this ability activates? Oh, choose a card to exhaust. Strike. Can I do more than one? No, just one a turn. Okay. Confirm. To all enemies three turns from now. I mean, is that the play? No, that's not the play. The play is... Defend, defend, attack, hold Rage Command, and we'll play it in a minute. Okay. Confirm a card to exhaust. Crunch time. Master key. Not good either. Unfortunately. Um, pattern shift. You. Leave me alone. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Trying to suss out the best way to do this. The problem is we'll lose this if we, we don't play it. But if not, we'll die. So wind up this. And then defend... We're going to be at 1 HP. Because Milkshake doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another crunch time gone. Plan to all enemies gain 8 times haste. Interesting. Not going to help us. Master key. Just exhaust it. We dead, I think. I think we're... 
Soup's dead, unless I can kill him. I don't think I can. So this is the play. Yep, we got six, he's doing ten. Does nothing. And that's game. Just didn't have the damage. That's the problem with the the rep, like the replica ones. But that was fun. Alright. Alright, we'll try once more. Not quite a half an hour or so. Turn around. Turn the uh, pocket the strange gold. So we get a bunch of a bunch of gold to start with. Um, gives us this random shopkeeper. And then we can buy stuff to start with. I don't know exactly. Like, we got 27, 28 gold. So I'm not sure how we get the gold. But I know that there's... Rare relics. All right. So I'm going to do the better rewards loot box. From a curse to a boss relic. 25 girl. Meaning 50. And then increases by 25. So we got Velvet Choker. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be a weird one. I think we'll do that. I want this too. Or I could just hit this baby again. Hmm. Because the locked anchor is really good. I think we'll hit it again. Yep, molten egg. Attacks are upgraded. All right, let's proceed. So we start with extra energy. can only play so many cards, which is fine. I didn't feel like energy was our big problem, though. But you can't, you know, this could be the, the game-breaking run. Because I guess at the end right there, having more energy to play Rage Command could have helped. Because we know there's some high energy stuff. Crunch time plus. Okay, backlash. Two times so that re like relies on enemy block. I want to take this. And I will. But we need some replicas now. Update body text. Alright, we're going to choose one of ten cards to add to the deck. Because we're going to look for replicas. So whetstone, or calcum. Alright. Um, six turns. Four turns. Or calcum it is. And that's our engine now. I think we'll also go here and hope that there's... Yep. Another one right there. And here's another way to use it. 20 damage for to all enemies for each replica shattered. This is actually better. Uh, unfortunately, because I'd like that. That's better. So we're just going to start stacking replicas. And we have the energy to really make the plays with it. Now this turn's going to hurt. Because, yeah, crunch time does nothing. Seven damage. It's fine. All right, Calcum. Skip turn. So we're going to get those benefits. Crunch time. Ooh, you didn't die from it. Lucky you. All right. Uh, replica. And then we get some void shards. Hopefully this elite isn't... There's like... The sentries would be the worst one. Like multiple targets. Um, we're going to do second hand. And we're going to keep uh, fragmentalized. Because it is a two cost. And if we got both of them this turn... Um, it would have been really good. Fortunately, we did not. Now, I could do 20 damage to it. Eh, I'd rather wait. Because I think, yeah. We'll do this and this. More damage in total. Echo Drought's good. Uh, another lock. The Medicine's not a great one, but it has a long timer. Really, what we want to be seeing is Locked Anchor. But this is a good turn. You get this up first turn, and yeah, there's like, what, 56 damage plus an attack. That's kind of what you're hoping for when you're doing this. All right, and then we could do 20 more, I guess. Um, it's not the best way to do this, so I think I'll just use them both and strike them and then continue with my day and hope to get crunch time. We did, and I can shift them to that, or we could just... Hit um and wait. All right, boy. Oh, we didn't get it again. Can I pattern shift him over? Yeah, we'll pattern shift him. Um, so he's doing 12. I think we can block a bunch. He's going to do 21. 
That's fine. Six damage. And then we will kill him. So 20 for each one. And you can really stack them up. 50% less damage outside the combats. Can't be surprised by mimics. Pretty good. Another lock messing. Ooh. Not the best one. Again, but... We're pretty much just stacking them to, like, go through them. Alright, Calcum. Lock medicine. Pass turn. Fragmentalize? That would finish this. Nope. Crunch time, though. Um... I think I'd rather just defend for five and I'll do a double strike because I can kill all of them with that one card. As long as I have both. I need both of them now. Well, it's a weird one. I should have done that differently. And I'm going to take damage because I should have just blocked. Yeah, there it is. Last card in the deck, but you're done. that have been 80 damage right there. Um, I don't think I need this. Uh, bite command next turn. For each unblocked hit, retain one card this turn. Ooh. Four damage, three times. I think that's pretty good, actually. And we'll take the weak potion. All right, you, sir, are going to get hurt. Crunch time, I think, would end this. And Okay, we will do this. So we get to retain three. That's actually pretty, pretty dang cool. Two, three. Huh. I've never seen Keepsake yet. Keepsake yet. That'll let us hold our crunch time, though. Okay, we want to do this. Defend. Defend. Second hand. And then we'll... I guess we'll just double strike. Can I shift him through? Oh, I can only play six cards. Ugh. i take another hit of damage. A little spot of bother, I would say. Yeah. The cards were one. I've just been at the very end, which sucks. Okay, all I'm just getting eight block. Unlock two rocks plus. They're only four. I guess that's fine though, because the two rocks are actually going to be pretty good for fragment. Negated uh, that. And then we'll do this, this, and then keepsake. Then we will hold these two. This is a really wacky build. Okay, so. Hmm, block, then we're going to medicine, we're going to crunch time, really just decimate his day, and then we'll defend again. Okay, um, I guess we'll just punch, the double punch attack. Alright, so here's where another good combination, formal wear, two rocks, ooh, oh, Crap, he had thorns. Well, that was a fun one. You can see the potential there. That went through a lot of different, like, quick little builds. Anyway, we'll play it again soon. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.